In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on August 24, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football Football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Florida State vs. Georgia Tech the 2024 college football season is set to begin on Saturday, August 24th, with a lineup of four games. Among the most anticipated matchups is the showdown in Dublin, Ireland, where the 12th-ranked Florida State Seminoles will face off against the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in the Aer Lingus College Football Classic. Florida State enters this season after an impressive 13-0 run last year, securing the Atlantic Coast Conference title but controversially missing out on the college football playoffs. Their season ended on a sour note with a heavy defeat to Georgia in the Orange Bowl. On the other hand, Georgia Tech concluded last season with a 6-6 record, earning a spot in the Gasparilla Bowl, where they triumphed over UCF 30-17 to close out the year with a winning record. Heading into this game, Georgia Tech boasts a more seasoned offense, with key players such as King, Haynes, and Singleton JR returning to the lineup. In contrast, Florida State has undergone substantial changes, especially in their offensive backfield. Quarterback Uyagele, who showcased his abilities last season at Oregon State, is versatile, excelling both on the ground and in the pocket. However, the Seminoles will sorely miss the contributions of running back Benson, and they'll be counting on newcomer Williams to fill that void. This challenge is heightened by the fact that Georgia Tech's defense struggled mightily against the run last season, allowing nearly six yards per carry. Yet, Florida State may find it difficult to exploit this weakness with their revamped backfield. On the defensive side, Florida State appears stronger, particularly in defending against the pass. Last season, the Seminoles ranked 16th nationally in pass defense, but their run defense was a different story, ranking 61st. This could be an area where Georgia Tech finds success, especially with King and Haynes combining for nearly 2,000 rushing yards last season. Historically, Florida State has dominated this matchup, winning 11 of the last 15 games. However, Georgia Tech has managed to cover the spread in 8 of those 15 contests. While Florida State undoubtedly has more talent overall, the lack of experience, especially with transfers playing key roles on offense, raises concerns about their ability to dominate early on. Georgia Tech's strong running game could slow the pace of the game and keep the score close. In the end, this game might present a favorable opportunity for the Yellow Jackets. Florida State experienced significant turnover from last year's 13-1 squad, losing 10 of its top 13 players. This scenario suggests a potential sell-high moment for the Seminoles who may need some time to find their footing offensively. While Florida State may still secure a victory, Georgia Tech has a solid chance to keep the game within 10 points. With their core offensive players returning, including their top passer, rusher, and receiver, the Yellow Jackets are well positioned to put up a strong fight. Although Florida State is clearly the more talented team, the Yellow Jackets' returning players, particularly on offense, give them a fighting chance. Additionally, the logistics of playing in Dublin, including possible challenges with the rugby soccer field, could create unexpected difficulties. Florida State's inexperience at key skill positions and their need to integrate a new quarterback could result in a slower start to the season. Considering these factors, I believe that Brent Key and his Yellow Jackets can keep this neutral site contest close. Therefore, the Georgia Tech to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. I anticipate that it will take some time for Florida State's offense to fully gel this season. Fortunately for them, they might have a relatively manageable start against a Georgia Tech defense that allowed an average of 31 points per game last year, ranking 100th in the nation. With four returning starters on the offensive line, the Seminoles should be able to ease into their offensive game plan, relying on their running game and short passes rather than putting too much pressure on quarterback DJ Uyagale. 
who has limited chemistry with his receiving core. On the flip side, Georgia Tech's offense is heavily reliant on its rushing attack. Last season, the Yellow Jackets ran the ball 492 times compared to 379 passing attempts, an uncommon split in modern college football. This run-first approach is expected to continue in 2024, with both QB Haynes King, who rushed for 737 yards last season, and RB Jamal Haynes, who amassed 1,059 rushing yards, returning to the lineup. Georgia Tech's best strategy in this game is to avoid a high-scoring shootout. The Yellow Jackets are better equipped to create big plays on the ground rather than through the air. Last season, the matchup between these two teams saw a high-scoring affair, largely due to Florida State's offensive explosion. However, with several key skill players having departed, the Seminoles' offense may take longer to find its rhythm this year. In the last 15 meetings between these Atlantic Coast Conference rivals, the under has hit seven times, with four pushes. I expect Georgia Tech head coach Brent Key to lean heavily on the ground game, which ranked 13th nationally in rushing yards per game last season. This approach should shorten the game and keep the total points low. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. New Mexico vs. Montana State the Montana State Bobcats are set to face off against the New Mexico Lobos on Saturday in Week 1 of college football at University Stadium. This matchup promises to be an intriguing contest as both teams aim to start their seasons on a positive note. Montana State, a formidable force in the football championship subdivision, will be looking to assert their dominance, while New Mexico and Football Bowl subdivision team is eager to prove they can compete despite being labeled as underdogs. Initially, I was inclined to take the points with New Mexico, as it's unusual to see an FBS team considered such significant underdogs against a football championship subdivision opponent. However, upon closer inspection, it's evident that Montana State is one of the top football championship subdivision teams in the nation, while New Mexico has struggled and is considered one of the weaker football bowl subdivision programs. The Lobos are dealing with several challenges, including a completely revamped offensive line, a defense that was shaky last season, and an entirely new coaching staff. This combination suggests a steep learning curve for New Mexico as they navigate these changes on the fly. On the other hand, the Montana State Bobcats are well positioned to hit the ground running, with their sights set on competing for a football championship subdivision championship. While it may seem odd to see a two-touchdown spread in this matchup, I understand why it's there. Given the circumstances, I trust Montana State to take care of business in this one. Therefore, Montana State to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. SMU vs. Nevada The college football season is officially underway, and we kick things off with an intriguing non-conference clash featuring a newcomer to the Atlantic Coast Conference facing off against a team from the Mountain West Conference in the Silver State. On Saturday night, the SMU Mustangs will begin their 2024 campaign with a road trip to battle the Nevada Wolfpack. SMU had a successful 2023 season, finishing with an impressive 11-3 overall record, including a perfect 8-0 mark in their final season in the American Athletic Conference. However, their season ended on a sour note with a 23-14 loss to Boston College in the Fenway Bowl. Meanwhile, Nevada endured a challenging season, hosting a dismal 2-10 record overall and a 2-6 mark in Mountain West play. As they look to turn things around this season, the Wolfpack hope that some retooling will lead to better results. As Historically, these two teams have faced off six times, with the series evenly split. However, SMU has won the last two matchups, including a convincing 45-10 victory in the Hawaii Bowl on December 24, 2009. Given the performances of these two teams last season, the opening week spread seems appropriate, although it still feels quite significant without knowing precisely what each team will bring to the field. Nevada, under a new head coach, is expected to place a stronger emphasis on defense this season, which should lead to improved performance on that side of the ball. However, the Wolfpack haven't made significant improvements in terms of personnel, which could be a significant issue, particularly against a potent SMU offense. The Mustangs are known for their fast pace tempo, and they will likely put Nevada's defense on its heels early in the game. Although the weather will be unseasonably cool with a kickoff temperature of 64 degrees, no precipitation is expected, which should allow for smooth gameplay conditions. While Nevada has the advantage of playing at home, they face a daunting challenge with a new head coach, a completely revamped receiving core, and
and a slew of new starters on both offense and defense. This puts them in a difficult position, especially considering that they are the second biggest home underdog in school history, dating back to 2000. Historically, Nevada hasn't fared well in these situations, with a 1-5 record at home against the spread in games where they are getting at least 20 points. Additionally, they have a 4-15 straight-up record and 19 home games as a double-digit underdog. On the other hand, SMU is transitioning to a new conference, but they benefit from facing a rebuilding program like Nevada. The Mustangs return several experienced players on both sides of the ball, which should give them a significant edge. Although the point spread for this road game is substantial, it's important to remember that SMU essentially returns the same team that dominated the American Athletic Conference last season. The Mustangs are a strong contender to make some noise in their Atlantic Coast Conference debut, while Nevada, which struggled mightily last year, is essentially starting from scratch this season. Last season, SMU easily defeated better teams than Nevada, with 8 of their 11 wins coming by margins of 18 points or more. Meanwhile, Nevada suffered blowout losses, including a 27-point defeat to football championship subdivision opponent Idaho at home. Given these factors, SMU to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Last season, SMU games saw the under hit in 8 out of 14 contests. The Mustangs started the year with 5 undares in their first 6 games but then saw 5 of their final 6 regular season games go over the total before for staying under in both the American Athletic Conference Championship game and their bowl game loss. On the road, SMU went over the total in four of their seven games, surpassing the number in each of their final four away contests. Nevada, on the other hand, split their 12 games in terms of the total last season, going over in each of their final three games. The Wolfpack also split their six home games regarding the total, staying under in their lone home game against a Power 5 opponent, a loss to Kansas. This matchup features a high total, largely due to SMU use offense, which was one of the best in the country last season and returns most of its starters. However, it's worth noting that the Mustangs didn't put up huge numbers early in the season, with the exception of a 69-0 win over football championship subdivision opponent Prairie View Agricultural and Mechanical. Another factor contributing to the high total is Nevada's poor defensive performance last season. While the Wolfpack didn't significantly bolster their defense in the offseason, they are now led by a defensive-minded coaching staff, which should help change the team's dynamic. Last season, the under hit in eight of SMU's games and six of Nevada's contests. Given these factors, and with SMU likely to ease up in the second half, this game could wind up just short of the projected total. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.